Yeah. Now is the time to add the sauce. Howdy folks and welcome to Hirschberger's Miracle Homestead. I am Martha and I'm about to get supper together. We are doing a chicken stir fry. We are looking forward to it and time is slipping away as it often does. But we'll go across the ingredients and then we'll get started. Here we have chicken marinating in soy sauce. It's cut up in bite sizes. Bell peppers, chicken broth, onion, olive oil, cornstarch, broccoli, soy sauce, ground ginger and carrots. I am going to get this out of the way so I don't dump it over. Normally I use a large skillet on the stove, but we have a house guest right now and that's Miss Juliana, our dog, and her kenneled area is over there in that same area where I set it for the camera. I thought about it then that we had purchased this electric skillet. So I'm going to move this down just a little bit. Hopefully the cord will reach. One thing I don't like about using the electric skillet tonight is because I'm not familiar with it. So is the same heat on the nut something else going to be hotter or not as hot? But we'll find out together. All right, first thing I'm going to do is cut the electric skillet on because the chicken goes in first. For those of you who've used electric skillets before, you probably know this, but if you are... A beginner with the electric skillet always 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 this is driven into our mind from our parents always always put this in the skillet first and then the power cord into the outlet if you put the power cord in the outlet first this thing is hot and it could bite you so always put this in the electric skillet first so that's what we will do and hopefully it will reach. All right, we will turn it on. That's my thing to stir it with. I can smell the heat. Okay. I need to get these vegetables chopped up to go into the chicken then. I'll go ahead and put oil in and then we'll put the chicken in. Stir it around a little bit. We've had this since Christmas and I tend to forget about it. Well, like I say, I hate working with something new not knowing how the temperatures work. All right, here we go. In goes the chicken. We'll cook that for three or four minutes till the chicken gets done and then we'll add the raw vegetables. Oh, peas, I forgot peas. So don't forget the peas. <laughs> we'll put them there so I don't forget it. Okay, I'm going to use our vegetable chopper. I'm gonna get the onions done first because I always hate doing onions. I'm gonna use a fine chop for uh, the onions and then I'll come back to the bigger chop for the others. It does not give the measurements how many to do or how many cups except for the sauce that goes in it. But the rest of the stuff going in it does not say. So this is one onion. And I didn't want the onion getting on that cutting board. <laughs> All right, we will see how much we have here. One cup. I'm going to retire the fine chop and bring in the bigger chop. Let me give the chicken a stir.
Oh, I forgot to measure that. That was two bell peppers though. I do know that. Okay, as soon as I get the carrots done, we can put the raw veggies in there. Sorry about the noise, buddy. All right, that's two cups of carrots. All right, we will dump in the raw veggies. And now get the broccoli in. We'll cook this for three or four minutes, and while that cooks, I'm going to get cleaned up a little bit here to we, so we can make the sauce. To save dishes, we we're just going to use the pot that the veggies were put in. This is chicken broth, soy sauce, ginger, and the cornstarch. Corn starch is wanting to settle to the bottom, even after you have it stirred, it'll want to settle to the bottom. So before we dump it in there, we have to stir it again. All right, we will add our peas. I've learned too, a while ago I didn't do it and my it steamed up at me worse. Open it that the lid goes away from you, and then most of the steam goes that way. And then you can wheel it back. Okay, here go the peas. Put the lid back on. We found this recipe when I was searching for recipes that have ginger in because I like a little bit of ginger and it's something Buddy can handle. As in any recipe, you can cater it to your kitchen, how you want to do it, how it suits your household the best. So anyway, The peas will have a slight crunch in our dish. If you like yours well done, simply put them in earlier. We are in for some good eating now. Come on. All of a sudden sound like it stopped cooking, so I'll turn it up again. This will be served over a bed of rice, and then I have that in one of the kettles back there. So, I <laughs> wonder what the people think as they go by if they look in and see these bright lights. My niece would know exactly what's going on. She knows they're filming. <laughs> okay, let's take a peek. Now is the time to add the sauce. Just pour it straight in here into the skillet mixture. It's wanting to go all over the place, but at least it all went into the kettle. Yes, it's big enough. I was afraid I'd run out of room. Okay, with the cornstarch in here, we will let it simmer and cook until the sauce is thickened. And then it will be ready to serve over a bed of rice. I'm going to cover it see if it can help speed up the process. Because I am late with supper. Alright, I think I better take a peek. Oh yes, it is thickening. I can tell that. It's 
thickening right on up there. We are just about home with it. Okie dokie, I'm turning it off. And in unplugging the cord then, unplug the outlet first. And then from the skillet. Unplug it from the outlet first. And then you can take it off from here. But you do not want to touch that if it's plugged into the outlet. Okie dokie. Since I am late with supper, I'm going to go ahead and plate up Buddy's plate so it can start cooling off. And the chicken stir fry goodiness on top. It will be worth the wait that we did to complete this. I thought I started. Anyway, we won't go there. I want to thank you for joining me in the kitchen today as we put this chicken stir fry together. There's a lot of stir fries that don't have a sauce to it, but this does and we love it that way. So thanks again for joining us, and we welcome you to stay tuned for the Golden Thought. And as always, the written recipe is in the description box. Howdy folks, and welcome to the Golden Thought of this episode. I'm Martha, and for those of you who, who are with us for the first time, this is my twin brother Marvin. He's better known as Buddy. And so when we talk about Buddy in our videos, this is Buddy. The Golden Thought for today the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him. And he helps me. My heart leaps for joy. And with my song, I will praise him. Psalms 28, 7, and there goes my buddy. We thank you for joining us on today's video. We hope you've been blessed and inspired. With that, we'll bring this to a close. Thank you and God bless.